Oh, hey, it's about an hour before our normal video drops, which means it's about an hour before the whole world really knows that we're moving and that the yellow shelves are gone. So it's kind of the last hour to feel normal before this decision that we've made is real. But stick around for today's video. I don't know what amount of thrifting may or may not happen in between now and the time that this video needs to go online. But what really needs to happen right now is we gotta get packed. We're down to the miscellaneous in the house. It's gotta go in the bread truck. And then in a day or two, we're gonna get on the road. Hannah, tell us real quick, how do you feel? Uh... Hey, what are you doing? Hey, where are you going? Where are you going? Where go, friend? They're very confused. They're very confused what's going on. They really don't understand why everything's gone. Bye. We're pretty well loaded up, but we're still selling stuff on eBay. So I got a PSP here to ship out and some other things. And like I've thrown away most of my shipping supplies because we're going to rush to the other side of the country and buy some more. But hopefully I've got a box to fit that because I need to get it out. This room's super empty. It is. Here's a box for you. I need a bigger one for my PSP. Oh, well, I can't help you there. <laughs> <laughs> There's probably a couple in here on the floor. Yeah, man, we got something. We'll make it work. Okay, I'm heading to the auto parts store while Hannah finishes sewing a pair of jeans. She's got to finish that and ship them off so that I can pack her sewing machine and stuff. <sighs> so hopefully the auto parts store has my auto parts that I ordered because we're leaving tomorrow and my van still doesn't have a power steering pump. <laughs> We're pushing it right up to the edge. It was a power steering line. Oh, gotcha. All right. Yeah, it's definitely here. I'm gonna... Let me grab the one out of my car. We had trouble finding the right one. Let me line the one I've got up next to it and see what it looks like. should look at all this denim that is a trash can full of denim now to be clear that's all scrap left over from custom items she's made it's not like we just threw away 100 pairs of jeans i will say there was a lot that was intended to be thrown away or donated but i've set everything we've thrown away outside of our trash can right yeah and 99 percent of it has been taken by our neighbors and it even got to where like i've kind of noticed what the neighbors want and knocked on some doors but like i gave one guy Two guitars, a mandolin, a viola, and a flute. <laughs> and a record player and some records. A record player is right. He was a music guy and he was very happy. Oh, I gave him my 3D printer too. Oh, that's nice. Merry Christmas, neighbor. And then furniture, that's going to the trash. It's like customized IKEA furniture. That's a lot of denim. Too bad we don't have time and space. You could just make a big denim blanket. I know, right? They're just like half legs. <laughs> <laughs> what? You said you wanted Harrison? Come here, Harrison. You gotta make the trip back to Kentucky. Make sure you read, folks. Make sure you read. It's good to have a hand that fit in tight spaces. I'm collectible. Lol. I wish I was, we could pack me easily. <laughs> <laughs> Come down, milady. Don't step on my Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Nothing for me. It's actually making me more nervous. Okay, um, we're just about done moving out. Look at this. How do you feel about the no yellow shelves? Uh, it's sad. It's sad. Depressed. Yeah, well, these are our good friends, Dan and Lisa, that we're leaving behind. They also have a nice YouTube channel. Go check it out. But uh, we're making some donations to your YouTube channel. All that stuff is going to go in the trash can if you don't take it. So take what you will. We're going to load up the truck. All right, let's do it. You'll see it on the shelf within a week. You're welcome to the cart to pull it out. All and right. uh, just take what you like. All right. Damn, Daniel, look at that. What'd you get? <laughs> you took it all. Uh, I, got, I went to the Tendo shop and I got a bunch of cases. Heck yeah. So I'm yeah. stoked. These are all pretty much empty. Oh, man, we have this loose. Do you really? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I figured you guys would have a surprising amount of this stuff. 
Yeah, for sure. That is awesome. And then some, there's some Japanese. Some oh, Japanese. Yeah. You guys are into that kind of thing. We will play the crap out of all the Japanese games. Well, thanks for saving that stuff from the garbage, because oh. that's probably where it was going to go. You go take Crash? Yeah. I found that in the Goodwill bins maybe months after we moved here, so. But this is the best item that I'm taking. Oh, baby! <laughs> That is not big enough for anything. <laughs> oh, it's it's a tiny, tiny cake holder. I had one when I was a kid, and I made a cake this size. That's awesome. You know what I got? High fives. I got it originally because I was like, it will hold a single cupcake. How cute is that? <laughs> a a sprinkle <laughs> size cupcake. It's perfect. Yeah. Or like a stack of cookies. So it's not, it's not a cake take, it's a cupcake take. It's a cupcake take. Dude, I can make... Dan, Daniel had a hamburger and put it in here for lunch, and it would be perfect the whole time. That no is, smush. That's awesome. No smush. That might be the best gift I ever gave you. <laughs> Here's the only final goodbyes that really matter. Hi, pants. Look how big he is in your arms. He's wider than you are. <laughs> he looks normal in your arms. <laughs> He's so soft. He's very oh, angry. He's getting mad though. He doesn't understand why everyone's coming by and giving him love. He's like, what's happening? But he takes it anyways. Pants yeah. is the best. You're the best, you're the best titty. I'm so mad. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> you could probably guess the cats aren't having a lot of fun. I just moved out the bed. Underneath the bed is their favorite place to be. Check this out. Where's the bed, guys? I know, I know. I took away your hiding spot, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay, he looks so mad. Well, it's kind of weird standing in this empty room. It's so echoey with all my bookshelves, but we're good, we're ready to go. Yay! How do you feel? We're going on an adventure! It's so echoey in here. It is, I can't yell, it's too loud. <laughs> all right, let's go. All right, now that the house is loaded up, there's only one more thing to do, and that's to get my bikes out of the storage unit. Uh, I hope I have the right key. that our house and our storage unit is empty. A lot of you regular viewers know how much stuff was in there. But now it's all in the red truck. Let's get out of town. I'm gonna stop at the post office real quick and get the last few packages before we leave. Are they in there or did you get them? Oh man, more stuff to carry home. Oh wow, that's full of toys. This is probably not gonna sound good due to all the wind and the traffic, but we've had a little engine problems. Uh, water vapor, I thought smoke coming out of our engine, but just water vapor. Uh, it looks like my radiator cap blew off. Just gone and we're uh, about 15 miles from the next stop. <sighs> okay, don't freak out. Or do freak out, it's as sad as it sounds. Um, we had to get a U-Haul. Driving this big thing around. Uh, the bread truck blew a head gasket and the fate of the bread truck looks pretty dim. There's not a lot else to say about it. I'm sure we'll talk about it a little bit later because it's very sad to see the bread truck go. Uh, probably just gonna have it junked, towed away and someone can scrap it. It's just not gonna be worth the money to fix it. Which means, I mean, that's sad, another another van down, but uh, probably means the first thing I'm gonna do when we get home is buy another van, something more suited to our needs. Dang it. I mean, this isn't much of a silver lining, but this thing is way more comfortable to drive. I'm leaning back in the seat, just enjoying the ride, but I'm sad to see Sad to see the bread truck go. Words cannot express how tired of driving I am. I bet these guys too. Are you tired of driving, little ones? 
Huh? They're so happy to be here. Oh, man. <laughs> Let's go do something else. We did. Oh, you know, driving a thousand plus miles. Are you dead? Oh. She's just dead. Ivan is going to show me some of the new toys that he got at the bins. What is this? The coolest Hot Wheel track ever. That's so, wild. This one piece. I think we're going to race. All right, pick one. Let's race. I'm just gonna pick it random. Oh no, I'm not. I want that. Hold on, let me get something. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna go get something that's bad, eh? <laughs> He's gonna go get the the fastest Hot Wheel he has. Is this whole bucket full of Hot Wheels from the bins? Yeah, it's all bins Hot Wheels. Every one of them. Every single one. Okay, comment below who's gonna win the uh, weird. I don't know what you even call that. It's like a dump truck. Number one. All right, the race car, comment below who's gonna win. Uh, it almost looks like some speed racer stuff. Ready, ready? Hold on. Okay, uh, shopping cart. That shopping cart's awesome. I don't know what that is. Okay, race car. All right, Ivan, who do you have? Come look at these. You pick one and I'll pick one. Shit. Um, I'm gonna go with this, no. Well, okay. I'm gonna go with number 25. You're gonna go with 25? Right. I'm, I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go shopping cart. Shopping cart? Yeah, let me go down here. So, shopping cart, what is it, left or right? The positions? One. Hold on, one, one, two, three. Okay, so you're going one and I'm going three. Right. This little thing at the end down here is gonna actually register and tell us who wins, so. I'm looking for three, he's looking for one. All right. Let's roll. Your marks, set, go. Oh, we both lost. Mark said good. I <laughs> still like it. <laughs> okay, it's very windy, but we're at Bucky's. You can't come to Texas without going to Bucky's. I got the Bucky shirt. Oh, you're all dressed up. Bucky's. What are you gonna get? I think there was something here last time that was like a like a mega ultimate taco. And I'm gonna get that. I gotta look. Oh! They're out. Shoot. Oh, no, it was this. It was the hippo taco. Fort Worth, Goodwill Bins. You ready? It's so windy. Ivan, look. Do you need 6,000 blue crayons? What? It's nothing but blue crayons. I've been looking for 4,000 blue crayons. <laughs> Applebee's. Is that what it was, Applebee's? Yeah. That's funny. I've always had really good luck here with the shoes. And I just rolled up for my first bin and I'm starting to find some very interesting shoes. I thought these were Skechers, but they are not. They're, uh, they're an off brand, but I can't really read what the brand says, but that's okay. They're a little, they're a little flaky anyway, so we're not gonna grab those. There is a lot of like kind of older 90s shoes. Made in Japan, they're vintage. We'll carry them around for a little bit, see what else we find. Oh no, no you didn't. Yes I did. One, two, three, four, five. Is that how many tracked width you're thinking home is? Six. Okay, it's still, some of it's kind of compatible. Yeah. 
Let's go. We need, we need to find a cart. How do I carry this? Let's go find a cart. Let's go. Let's go. Find it today. Are you kidding? Are you joking? <gasps> yes. Oh, I'm pumped. Find of the day. Pair of Jinkos, baby. They look really small too, which I'm very excited about. They are size 16. I want to say that that's in boys, which because that looks like maybe like a 28, 29 inch waist. That's amazing. These are hard to find in small sizes. <sighs> Get pumped. Oh, not one Duncan, two Duncans. Bag. I'm definitely trying to be selective on the things that I get because I don't want to get too much but a definite bright side of getting the U-Haul is that we have a little bit more space than we did whenever we had the bread truck so I'm excited to get up and get a few things for sure. On this cute little vintage skirt I thought it was just like a handmade skirt at first but it does have a tag in it. It definitely looks like handmade so I want to say it's pretty old probably like 60s 70s that's just my guess, but uh, I found a pair of um, vintage Old Navy shorts. I wanted to at least get a few things to be able to post tonight because uh, all of my stuff is buried in the truck and I have nothing to post that is easily available. So we can post this stuff. <laughs> love the incredibly random things you find at the bin. Like here are two boxes spilled out into the bin of Applebee's crayons. I almost dropped you guys. Like what? Just all orange and red Applebee's crayons. Why? Why though? I'm bleeding. I, I like, I did this. It was like, you right. you he heard him, Ivan. Me. I know. <laughs> I'm bleeding. Look, Ivan. You made me bleed. You no, swung it. Nobody makes you bleed my own blood. <laughs> he scared me and I like ran away and hit a bin. Ooh, these are nice. Check out these darts. Ooh. You got a big bag of them we have at home? Yeah. I'll put those with them and put them up for a lot. Oh, these are pretty. They're really nice. I mean, I don't know anything about darts, but ow, <laughs> it works. What'd you find? Um, it's a book for asking God for things. Okay. Madison's book. Well, I guess she's got nothing to ask. Rip. Interesting. <laughs> I thought it actually said something on one of the pages. Where'd you read oh. the page? Today was good. Drove home from San Antonio. We were going to eat at Snooze, but there was an hour and a half wait. So we ate the corner bakery. Good, I guess. Felt like I was going to puke after. Oh no. Wow. <laughs> this got dark. <laughs> we had pasta for dinner. It's all good. Watched Forrest Gump. Sad, happy, funny, good. Worst movie ever. Aw. Oh, she did like <laughs> Forrest Gump? Yes. Yes day. Hope it's good. Bye, Maggie. Is that the only page? Yep. I didn't Literally last long. It. She, uh, it looks like there's some torn out, so I guess she, uh... Oh, uh, she tore the secret, secret stuff out. She got a little nervous before she donated it to Goodwill. Well, check out what I found. I have one of these. Oh. This is actually going to be my second one, which is good because Hannah and I both use one. Uh, but I have a massive guitar pick collection. Because that's all it takes. You just buy placemats and stuff like that. So I'm thinking I'm gonna actually buy this placemat. Cause watch, this is what's coolest about it. You can do designs. Look how symmetrical this is gonna be. Isn't that awesome? That's a guitar pick. It's beautiful. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna buy that. Alright, tell me if I'm right or wrong here. Uno, dos, seis, 
Let's see, go. Well, we're doing all right so far. Is it Seto? Mm-hmm. Seto over there. Ocho. Trace. Cuatro. Siete. So there's no nine. There oh. is now. Oh. I wonder if it's actually supposed to be that way. So you can use it for both. Are you serious? ESPN, the Ocho. The Ocho. But we've also got I say equals. You know? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Menos? Uh, menos, uh huh. Yeah. How do you say it? Divided. Don't know? Are you really Mexican? No. <laughs> I was born in America. How do you say plus? Mas. Mas? How do you say multiply? Por. Say it again? Por. I don't know that one. I didn't know that one. I'll have to ask Monique how to say divided. Divided, DVD. Dividad? Dividido. Dividido? Good to know. Well, I'll have to see maybe the whole set. This has six and nine as one. I don't know. Well, you look a little different than last I saw you. I need a pickaxe. <laughs> Did you guys find anything good? Yeah, man. All kinds of stuff. We got a We got a Will Robinson robot. Robbie the robot. Robbie the robot. Is that his real name? I got a kit. I got hats. I got shirts. What do you want? That's a lot of hats. Muy barato, muy barato, Tesla muy barato. Hat. Tesla hat. Heck yeah. I got a lot of chingareras. And <laughs> uh, probably the only valuable thing I got was like some dog training collars. The only thing I really bought for eBay was this uh, competition cup stacking thing. Your Hot Wheel collection grows. That's awesome. You got one single track. Uh, and this is like, this isn't Hot Wheels. No, it's from Cars. Cars, that's awesome. What's your best thing? Um, I like this backpack a lot. Very nice. That pair of Jinkos is the best. I got a pair, of, I got a backpack also. It's like a nice laptop backpack. And you got a sun visor? Oh, sun, yeah. sun reflector? Uh, oh! <laughs> <play with it>. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. I dig it. Now hold it up like a parachute and you blow away. <laughs> it's so windy. God, it's so loud over here. We are in the Colony, Texas. Is that what it's called? Yeah, colony. The Colony? The wind is blowing so hard here. But we're at a restaurant called Hard Eight. It's a restaurant joint. It's a, it's a restaurant joint, I said. <laughs> it's a restaurant joint. It's a barbecue joint is what I meant to say. And uh, they said it's really good, so we're going to do this and then we're going to wake up early tomorrow and drive to Arkansas. Restaurant joint? Restaurant joint, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that smells good. Yeah, you can really smell it from the outside. Oh. It's like open air. Like, oh wow, look at this. Awesome. Oh, the, okay, so it's like the pit outside is open air. Oh, that's good. so cool. It's awesome. the potato and everything here too. The only thing is they don't give you everything in the potato, so you, they just give you the potato and the meat. And then inside you get all the sides and stuff. Oh, I like that. I might get a potato, that sounds great. The poppers are so good. What's ba poppers? Bacon wrapped chicken, jalapeno. It's good. Hungry. Watch out, Kentucky nice that. <laughs> Watch you get a load of these sausages. Bro, those sausages. Sausages. Oh yeah. That's crazy. Look at all that meat. That's wild. They're out of turkey in case you want a turkey. Okay. I didn't want turkey, it's fine. Look, they got free beans. Is it all the beans you can eat? I'm gonna eat some beans. It's past the register, so you just get all the beans you want. Wow. I'm gonna eat them because they're free. Beans are for dine-in only. Well, that's me. What'd you get? Uh, half chicken, chicken buffers, corn, banana pudding. That's banana pudding? Banana pudding. What'd you get, Mo? A brisket potato. It's so weird calling you Mo because that's my cat's name, but you know, oh, it's it's, <laughs> she had it first. <laughs> I mean, not, not to be offensive, but you are significantly older than my cat. Because <laughs> she's like two. 
What'd you get, Hannah? I got a baked potato, got some okra, I got some beans, and some stuff for my baked potato. <laughs> <laughs> I got half pound ribs, half pound sausage, corn on the cob. You put the corn on the cob in the barbecue sauce. Ivan, you've never had okra before. No. All right, give us a review. It's fine. It's just kind of a vegetable, but yeah, it's fried. It's fried vegetable, yeah. yeah. Monique, you've had okra, yeah? Try it, try it, try it. It's kind of like zucchini. Yeah, it's just a no, fried vegetable. It's like fried zucchini, yeah. I need some ranch. That's a review. <laughs> Ivan's review, it needs ranch. It's Friday, and I don't know where the time goes, but we're awake. It's time to head home. Pants is here to greet me. Why are you being so lovey? So lovey, chubby. Don't look away from the camera. <laughs> you ready to go? You ready to go to Kentucky? Hmm? All right, Hannah, how do you feel about the fact that we're going to be home tonight? It's pretty crazy. How do you feel about the fact that I've got a surprise for you? Scared? Uh, we're going to drive to Arkansas and pick something up. What are we picking up? I'll show you. But first, we gotta, we got to stop at Bucky's. It's time for breakfast. Uh, I think you're going to like this surprise, though. Should I be scared? Actually, I think this could be an emotional roller coaster. I think you're going to like it. And then you're gonna be bummed, and then it's gonna be weird. Okay. <laughs> Come on, give me gas. Give me all three hundred dollars of it. No. The gas pump is pumping real slow. It's been like fifteen minutes, and it's on like twenty bucks, and I'm sure it's gonna go all the way to like a hundred. Uh, but there's like eighty-five cents on the ground. <laughs> it's sixty. 85, you see more? Who drop, I mean, who drops 85 cents and is like, nah. <laughs> That's worth bending over, you know what I mean? <laughs> We're getting. They're out of pumpkin, I don't know. I'm sorry, but you gotta go to a new home. There you go, he's looking for you. Happy birthday. Aww. Oh, she doesn't like that, I I think she's gonna do great. Hello, how are you? Hey, come here. Hello. Oh, you're so beautiful. Hello, how are you? Hello, hello. Put the papers in the bag, let me have it. Okay. All right, Hannah, well, I got you a dog. <laughs> <laughs> She's so cute. She is beautiful. But uh, how do you like the surprise? <laughs> okay, here's the roller coaster. It's not yours. Aww. <laughs> Which I think you knew. I did, but it's okay. Um, my brother bought this dog from someone in Arkansas, and he <laughs> texted me last night. He's like, are you going through Arkansas? I was like, yeah, right, right through Little Rock. He's like, can you pick up a dog? I was like, yeah. <laughs> All right, so listen, you're gonna drive home with the with with her her him her. is it a girl? It's a girl. <laughs> you want to keep it, don't you? Well, I just gave a woman like three thousand dollars for it. So if you want the dog, you have to give my brother three thousand dollars. Okay, he can keep it. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, if he doesn't, if she doesn't do okay, call me and we'll stop and I'll put her in the bread truck. Okay, All right. she'll be fine. All right. I can't believe her. Hello, you're so beautiful. Dallas brought me some chicken fingers that I get to eat in front of the dog that hasn't eaten all day. He doesn't, she doesn't get to eat until we get home. Hopefully she lets me eat in peace. Will you let me eat in peace? Will you? She's beautiful. We're best friends already. I love her. <laughs>
You're gonna be all right. You're so beautiful. Look, it's a bridge. Tennessee. Welcome to Tennessee, baby girl. Last fuel stop before we make it home. And uh, turns out Pants is a pretty good uh, van cat. You can't get out though. You're not gonna like this rain, Chubby. Just stay there. Let's see how the dog's doing. Oh, 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 catch it, catch it. Got it. Hey, big dog. How's you riding? You riding Ooh. good? She just wants to sleep and she can't. She's so <laughs> mad. Don't do it, Chumpy. Don't do it. You're not going to believe this. Um, we're standing in my childhood home, which for the last, I don't know, 15 plus years has really just been essentially storage. Uh, matter of fact, I've even kept some stuff up here. Momo! <laughs> I've even kept some stuff up here over the years. Hannah just spotted what we think is my childhood Furby. I don't know. It totally is. Oh, wow. You're not. You're... Oh, the battery department is good. Wow, that's surprising. That is. I had no idea it was up here. Do I have this one? I don't know. It doesn't look, it doesn't look familiar. I think we have some that are close, and I keep saying I have, I, I, I have the one from when I was a kid, but I don't think so. I don't think I do. He's really not in that bad of shape. Um, we moved all our stuff up, our bed's on the floor, the box frame doesn't show up for a couple days, but you guys will be seeing a lot of this space over the next couple of weeks because, or the next little while, because this is where we're going to be living for now. Got a lot of moving to do, dresser, we need dressers for our clothes. We do have some super vintage -y dressers in here, uh, really old stuff, really vintage furniture, and we can use it if we want, or... I don't know, we've got a lot to do. I'll be very happy when our bed frame shows up. Yeah, that'll be nice. Where do you want to put your sewing area? In here? I think so. That might be nice. Yeah, we might. There's a whole... This is the closet, but it's like the size of some bedrooms, you know? So we could put it all in there. We've got a lot to do, but I can't believe we just found that. That's wild. It is crazy. It's That's the one I got as a kid. Dad bought me that in like 95. Oh man, we made it to the last day of this video. Which means I gotta get all this day's work done and then get home and edit this so you can see it on Sunday. But storage units here in my hometown are a lot cheaper than the ones back in Phoenix. We got a whole 20 by 10 for a considerable amount less than we're paying back in Phoenix for the, for the what is it, like 10 by 10, 9 by 8, something like that. But uh, we've gotta get that whole U-Haul unloaded. I've actually got some help coming. Old friend, brother, dad should be here. So it should be a lot less hard than it was to get all that switched over from the R.I.P. bread truck. We have to, for now on, refer to the bread truck as R.I.P. bread truck. But uh, Too soon. It sucks. I've been trying not to think about it. But do subscribe because to, uh, you know, make myself feel better. I've been looking at vans here locally so we can replace it. There's some good options. So next week's video, van buying maybe? I don't know. Stick around. We're going to do a bunch of moving. <laughs> All right, we're making progress. Uh, <laughs> which means we got started. <laughs> Isn't that awful? There's just a leading tower of clothes. We ran out of like, we had a couple box busts. So we had to dump bags somewhere. So those are those were in bags. We dumped them out so we could put some of this stuff in bags. Oh man, it sucks. I was trying to get that stuff off top. The yellow stuff. All right, let's put bags on this side. Oh no, boxes on that side. What do you say you do with this thing? I, you keep on saying instructions. I'm just like, oh yeah, do it. Hold it up somewhere. I just want, I kind of want to see the Lego just whoosh. I don't know where you're going to put it. I don't know. We can push right it. I guess, here, put it on top here if you can. Oh! This is bad. It took every single inch of this 20 by 10 just to get the stuff in there. What do you think, Alex? 
It'll do. It'll do. Well, our stuff that has to go back home is in Alex's Scion. And uh, we've got to go home and clean out the U-Haul so we can go drop it back off. But I think we officially live in Kentucky now. Uh, I think that's going to be it though guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with us. Hit the subscribe button all that normal stuff. Make sure you're subscribed though because next week's video is going to be a banger. We might buy a van before next week even gets here. I don't know. We might hit up some bins. What do you think Hannah? Send off for the week. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>